welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be discussing five things that i didn't know about turkey i made videos very similar before but there are just so many things that i didn't know about turkey or turkish people i moved to turkey five years ago and in that time i learned a lot of things and i thought in this video i share them with you i want to mention before the video starts that this is just my like opinion and things that i noticed and this is just a fun video and i don't want to offend anybody uh, just to make that clear and of course if you're new here on my channel don't forget to subscribe i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmis turkey and i make a lot of beauty related videos lifestyle and videos about turkey so if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started okay so the first thing is something that i noticed quite late um i think about like one or two years ago is that a lot of people don't call um someone by their name but they say something else and i know this sounds really weird but if you look up to someone or someone is older than you and it's a man they call a lot like abby abby means like brother and if it's like an older girl you can say like abla which means sister and this is kind of like out of respect if someone is younger than you then you can call them by their name but if they are older uh, you don't also for example all of my husband's his friends they call me yenge and yenge is basically a woman who is married to your family or to your friend if i am correct so they never say my name they always say yenge to me and this is also uh, with family um, for example my mother and father-in-law i absolutely don't call them by their names but um, you have to call them anne and baba which is mom and dad um, my husband also says this to my parents he always say mom dad um, yeah this is really common here in turkey and i think this is definitely nice to know if you come to turkey then you're not like what are they calling me <laughs> this is just like out of respect and i think that's really nice then something else that I noticed uh, right away when I moved to Turkey is that Turkish people eat bread with every meal in the Netherlands where I'm from uh, people also really love to eat bread but usually it's only with uh, breakfast and lunch and in the evening we only eat bread maybe if we have soup um, other than that um, we don't eat bread but here in Turkey people eat bread like with literally everything um, they eat it also with like a pasta dish or like potatoes like with everything they eat bread they just love bread and you have different kind of breads here in Turkey you have like the classic bread and maybe I will insert pictures and um, that you can buy in every little market but you also have like a flat bread which is usually a lot bigger but i don't eat a lot of bread i usually only eat bread in the morning and just like a little piece i've never been a huge fan of bread i don't know but yeah that's something that i noticed is that people love to eat bread the wedding parties in turkey are also very different compared uh, to the weddings in the netherlands and also something that turkish people do is that they give gold and i also mentioned this in my uh, wedding video that i will link somewhere up here or somewhere down and uh, then you can check that out later um but yes they give gold in the netherlands we usually give like an envelope with money and nobody can see how much you give but here in turkey um they have like a special like ceremony i guess when they give um money and gold the groom and the bride they have some um, i don't know how you call it like fabric like a little scarf you can call it and people put money and gold on there the reason that turkish people give gold is that if you need money one day like maybe for a car or maybe you are sick and you need money for the hospital or maybe you get a baby and you need money that you can change that gold um, uh, for money so you don't need to spend it like right away but only when you need it and um, yeah that's why Turkish people give gold just you have a little backup if you need uh, money one day then you can exchange that gold for money so I already told you about that you call people like Abby like brother sister but something else and i get my phone because i always mix this up as well is that um in the english language and in the netherlands as well you have uncle and out and this um, is the same for your mom's or father's side it doesn't matter it's your uncle or your aunt 
Um, but in Turkey it's changing so it depends if it's your mom's side or your father's side okay so if it's your mom's side so it's your mom's brother or sister um, then it's Daya and that's uncle and Deze is aunt but if it's your father's side so if it's the sister or the brother from your father then it is Amja uncle Amja and Hala is uh, out also in the netherlands i call my um uncle's wife also out but in turkish that's also not correct then it is yenge again like i said people call me yenge so it is very confusing and this is something that i also still mix up like hala teze um yeah it is a little bit confusing but if you come to turkey and um, then this is nice to know because all the time they say something else and i'm like wait what who is that again <laughs> So yeah, then you know this. And the last thing that I noticed here in Turkey is that Turkish people are so, so clean. And then I mean in their home, like I already mentioned, you don't wear shoes inside. They're cleaning uh, always, um, especially if it's like Bayram. Bayram is like a special holiday here in Turkey. It's like basically Christmas in the Netherlands. People are cleaning their homes like crazy for the bottom. They want to have everything perfect. So if there's coming people over that they have like a spotless home. They're also very clean in terms of taking care of themselves, I guess. A lot of Turkish people go often like to the hairdresser. Also like for wedding parties or for other occasions. They like to dress up and really like put on makeup and hair the woman look always very beautiful with turkish weddings so in that sense they really take care of themselves but also of their homes also like i mentioned in my other videos they always have like a colonia which is like a disinfect that they always give to someone if they come into their homes which is very nice especially in this pandemic so you can clean your hands and yes that's just something that i noticed here that people are a little bit extra clean and personally i really like that i always love to clean in my home as well so i fit in i guess <laughs> so yeah these were five things that i didn't know about turkey and turkish people um yeah let me know if you like to see more videos of this because there are still so many things that i can tell you about turkey um so please let me know in the comments down below and if you saw my last video i already said that i take a little bit of a summer break i'm back at uploading once a week um every wednesday i decided so then you guys know that i guess i will be back to uploading twice a week um at the end of august or september i'm not really sure yet but um, yes, you can also follow me on Instagram if you like to stay a little bit more updated. I post uh, more often on there. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Because you really help my channel with that. And don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!